guys. So I didn't think that I was gonna have time to film a video in the next few days, but it just so happens that my husband woke up sick this morning. So I have been hanging around the house all day long playing doctor and I had some time and figured why not film a video really quick even though there's no such thing as filming a video really quick in my mind, I'm like, it's gonna be fast. And then four hours later, I'm like, oh my God. Anyways, so I figured I would go ahead and do my January favorites. I will be doing makeup tutorials later this week, but for now, this is easy, so I figured why not do it. Um, good news is my lighting is getting better. We're working our way there, we're working. Bad news is I didn't have time to do my hair. So <laughs> can you just love me through it? Okay, so let's just get started. I feel like I have like half makeup and half skincare because I've done a lot of skincare shopping in the past month and a half so I'm going to just start off with makeup um, the first thing I really hope that this isn't sold out everywhere but I have to talk about it because I've loved it all month long and it is from the magnetic nude collection that MAC Cosmetics came out with in the beginning of January and this is an extra dimension skin finish in the shade magnetic appeal it is this gorgeous gorgeous rose gold with a little bit of copper in it and this is made to go on the cheekbones over the blush or used as a blush as a highlight it is so beautiful, it is so warm, it's so complimentary to so many different skin tones, it's just gorgeous. And I love that it's not just like a straight gold, but it's got like some copper and some rose in there as well. It is so pretty, I've been putting it on like every single day over whatever blush I choose to wear, which is what I did today. I wear a matte blush and then I'll just lightly sweep this over top. I know this is sold out online, and I have no idea about all of your starting counters and stores, but if you had the chance to get magnetic appeal, ugh, gorgeous. A couple of weeks ago, I went to Target and I got a little drugstore makeup crazy while I was there and purchased a few things. And one of the things that I have been loving is the Maybelline Lime Stiletto, and this is the Ultimate Precision Liquid Liner. And I love how small it is, and it's just so easy to maneuver. I like how it's got like a short, but yet like thick stubby handle and then it's right there. Some liners will like come all the way out to here and it's like, uh, so awkward. This is so, so easy to use. And I don't use liquid liner on a day-to-day -day basis. If you watch my videos, you know that I use a gel with a precision little small angled brush, but I use liquid liner just to go over my eyeliner like before I leave the house or after I've worn my makeup for a period of time. Just because if you're working with pigments or glitters or just like any thick shadow, it can tend to fall down on your black liner. And I'm so picky about my liner being perfect that I will run over it super quick, quick with a liquid instead of going through that whole process again just to ensure that it's black and straight and I don't have powder or pigment like hanging out all over it. That's just me. I'm so picky. I'm so crazy. No big deal. A couple other products that I got at the drugstore and have been obsessed with all month long are these Maybelline lip colors. They are called the Elixir Color Sensational Collection. I absolutely love them. I think I have one or two more, but these three are the ones that I have been obsessing over the most. They are in the shade Nude Illusion Petal Pusher and Captivating Carnation. Absolutely love them. I have on Petal Pusher right now on top of, oh, I don't know, like 1,600 things. I just love these. They don't really even feel like an actual lip gloss. They feel more like a lip butter. They're so creamy. They go on so smooth. They get this nice little short handle to apply with. I just absolutely love these. They have great pigmentation. This nude one, Nude Illusion, is so pretty. You know I love my nudes. They're just, they're so creamy. I mean, you could put this on with no makeup on and it would still just feel like you're wearing like a lip butter. They don't feel sticky at all. I just, these are some of my favorite lip products like of all time at the moment. It'll change next month. Two other lip products by Maybelline. This month they came out with this nude collection. I don't even know what the name of this nude collection was, but it was like 10 or 15 all different shades of nude for all different skin tones. I absolutely love them. I think I purchased four of them, and these are just two that I have right here, but I've been using them a lot. So I have to say the one downside to these is they don't have tons of staying power, but they are so pretty, which is not a big deal to me that they don't have staying power as long as they go on nice and smooth and they don't break up on your lips and start looking like chunky throughout the day that's all that really matters to me so that one that i just showed you is nude lust and then this one is blushing beige and i love the packaging i love that it's in this nude little capsule and they're just such pretty colors and they're gorgeous nudes so i am super super excited about these i don't know how long this collection is going to be out for and i don't even know the name of the collection but as always all the information i'm talking about right now i will list everything down below my description bar last lip product i quickly mentioned this in my imax haul video is the dose of color lip gloss in the shade undressed <sighs> stop 
what you're doing and go buy this lip gloss. It is so beautiful. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's going to be too dark on me. I don't know why. Like in person, it looked a little too brown because I am pretty fair right now, especially for the color that I usually am. Um, no, it's perfect. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you guys haven't tried Dose of Color, I highly, highly suggest that you do. They're so pigmented. I literally just did like the tiniest swatch. I'll show you like so pigmented and they don't really feel like a gloss. It's very hard to explain the texture, but it almost feels more like a mousse in a bottle or like a stain, not a glossy gloss. Like it doesn't look like shiny when you're wearing it, but yet it does have shine. Does that make sense? No, not whatsoever. This product I absolutely love, but at the same time, I'm kind of like about it at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense, but it is the NARS Pro Prime Instant Line and Pore Perfector. It's so tiny and cute, I love it. So it just rolls up like this, almost like a concealer stick, and all you do is just rub it around the areas of like pore perfecting and line filling. So just those problematic areas that everyone has like in between the eyebrows, right here with the smile lines, and then where you have your largest of pores, which is usually in your T-zone area absolutely love this it works your foundation goes on over top of it beautifully it sticks to it. it doesn't slide off like a lot of times it does with sometimes products like this it is great the one downside for me personally is that it keeps me matte all day long like I am a dry person but I still have a little bit of natural oil this there is no oil coming through so for you oily monsters you will absolutely love this product because oil is not going to break through this thing that is why i am so matte today i don't know if you can tell a difference on camera as you can in person but i am extremely matte today because i did use this before but it works so well for filling in lines and covering up pores it makes you look so like <sighs> airbrushed even when you try it on the back of your hand you'll see your lines just disappear it's it's a great product but once again it keeps you super matte Okay, I have three products mentioned by Anastasia of Beverly Hills, and the first one is the oh, Contour Kit. Oh my gosh, seriously, when I saw that this was coming out, I was just like, took my idea just right out of my mind. I've always thought like there needs to be an amazing contour and highlighting kit out there on the market, and I've never ever found one that is just on point, that has it all. And this one pretty much has that. It looks like this. You've got six little baby colors in here. I love them. The three bottom are contour shades and the three top are highlight shades. Absolutely gorgeous. So right here, you have like a pinky beige color for highlighting. This is a yellowy base for, well not yellowy, it's yellow. And then this right here is a little bit of shimmer. It's like a vanilla beige shade. This shimmer is very fine. It is not a chunky glitter or highlight whatsoever. You can see how it looks. It's a little more powdery as opposed to shimmery. Uh, I don't even know if you can see it in the light, but it's not like an intense shimmer at all. It's very, very natural highlight. So for somebody who doesn't want like an intense highlight, for someone who's maybe a little bit more mature, you would love this kit for highlighting. Um, it's got three different contour shades that are great for all different skin tones. For me, I am this darker caramel one right here all the way to the left. Well, yeah, to the left to you, left to me, right here. And then of course you have these other two shades that are going to be great for other people with other skin tones, like someone who has a little bit more pink in their skin tone and someone who is a little bit darky, darker with a little bit more like ash in their skin. It's universal. It's great. And I, I love it. I am using this today for all of my contour and highlighting along with blush. This is the Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia. And this product came out like, I don't know, two, three months ago, something like that. Not that long ago, it's fairly new. And it looks like this. It almost looks like an eyeliner, but it is the hardest texture to explain, like a pomade. It is so awesome. I have not heard that many reviews on it, so I just tried it out for myself. I am using the shade Auburn. This is what I use to fill my brows today, but I also use a couple of other things because I was like experimenting as I was doing my makeup, so they might look a little janky, but that's okay. Um, I absolutely love this. It's so easy to use. It is like a makeup artist's dream. It's so easy to blend. It's so creamy. It's like almost moussey. I've used that word twice now in this video. It's just, it's a great, great product for every day. Um, makeup wearers, I don't know if this is something that you would love. I do know from a makeup artist standpoint, I absolutely adore it. It is so easy. It cuts the time in half filling in my brows. It was just like shrink, shrink, shrink. I absolutely loved it. So dip brow pomade. And I am using the shade Auburn, but that's going to change because my hair is going to change. Last product by Anastasia. This is the tinted brow gel in the shade Brunette. 
So I don't know if you guys are familiar with tinted brow gels, but they're really great, especially for people who don't know how to film their eyebrows. You can get a tinted brow gel and just do nothing but just comb this through your brow like a mascara wand and just make sure that you don't push hard because if you push hard and it touches your skin a lot, it can look really unnatural. But if you lightly graze your brows, it'll just put a nice coat and it'll just make it look super natural, a little bit thicker, more full, so, so pretty. So after I do my brows, I will go in and just lightly slip this through and it'll just make it look more natural and give it more dimension and so they're not so flat. So I've really been liking this tinted brow gel. Before I go on to my skincare products, I'm gonna quickly break it up by mentioning this perfume that I've been in love with, and it is the original Chloe perfume. I did get it in the rollerball just because I have so many bottles of perfume, and I'm like, I get sick of them and just like stop using them before I even finish the bottle, and then I don't touch them for six months. So I figured, why not do a rollerball and take it with me everywhere? So I just, I have just discovered the scent. I absolutely love it. It is fresh, it's timeless, and I personally like very clean, fresh scents that smell almost like you just did laundry. Um, smell like spring. I don't like anything like musky and really warm. I like things very clean and crisp. So I'm always nervous telling you guys about scents that I wear because I'm like, they're gonna go smell it and be like, oh my God, she stinks so bad. Okay, another total rando, and I think I have mentioned this guy before, but this is the Healthy Deodorant by La Vanilla Laboratories. You can get this at Sephora, and it is an all natural deodorant, and the scent is lemon vanilla. Oh my God. For those of you who have a hard time finding deodorants that you like, like I do, I am so picky. When we were in LA, I forgot this, and I used my sister's deodorant, which was just like secret or something, like those popular brands, and I had to immediately wash it off because I cannot stand the scent of like baby the powder deodorants it grosses me out but this one smells like perfume and I love it these next two products I was literally counting down the days until they released they did release on two separate days but I was so excited to get both of them and I have literally been waiting to talk to you guys about them all month long I was thinking about incorporating them in my skincare favorites of 2013, but I was like, that's not fair because I've only owned them for a week, but I am officially obsessed and now I can scream it on the rooftops. The first one is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. If you guys, okay, my hair is a little, please, like honestly, like that's the real issue. I'm sure you guys know who Glam Glow is. I've talked about Glam Glow a few times here on my channel and they are known for their mud masks, which are really known for clarifying the skin, going in deep, penetrating and pulling stuff out to the surface and really helping with acne and oils and stuff like that. This is basically the opposite, but in a good way. Instead of going in deep and pulling stuff out, this is gonna go in deep and hydrate. It's going to give you such a beautiful glow, radiant skin. It literally just feels like butter, but in an amazing, non-clogging your pores kind of way. It is such an amazing mask. It looks like this. It is, it smells amazing. There's nothing bad to say about this product. I have used it all month long, ever since the day it came out, literally. I absolutely love this. It is going to do everything that you want a mask to do. Even oily people will like this mask. It's awesome. And I will say that the first time that I used this, earlier that day I used, this is like so messed up. I was squeezing it so hard. Earlier that day, I used the Million Dollar Tan Cabana Face Extreme, which is a sunless tanner made for your face. And then when I went to Sephora and bought this, I came home that night, washed my face, applied this, and when the next morning I woke up, my husband literally leaned over to me and was like, your skin looks so beautiful. And I'm like, okay, like, what a random compliment to get from your husband. Like, what? And I like jumped out of bed and ran to the mirror and I was like, oh my gosh. And I'm telling you, like the mixture of using a sunless tanner product on your face with this Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Mask was just like end all be all perfection. I'm not joking, I've never seen my skin look so beautiful in my life. So now I'm obsessed with using this at the, during the day and then using this at night because it's like you get that sunny, like sun-kissed glow plus the hydration, it's perfect. Absolutely beautiful. So they're like my match made in heaven right now. And I, yeah, I, I love it. Go buy the mask. You will thank me and you won't regret it. The second product that I have been obsessing over all month long is the Josie Maron Milk Intensive Hydrating Treatment. Oh my gosh, obsessed. So I ordered this online because it wasn't available in my Sephora for like five days until after it released. Don't ask. I'm literally that crazy. I was so excited to try this. You guys know I absolutely love her products more than anything in the world. So this is basically purified water plus her original argon oil mixed together. I know that sounds a little crazy, but that's what it is. And it is this beautiful milky consistency. It's got this little dropper just like her original oils. And when I first saw it, I thought, okay, so it's a hydrating treatment. I'm going to have to use it at nighttime. So I originally started 
started using it at nighttime along with my beauty oils and loved it. But then I started realizing that I could use it during the day as well. Now on days that I'm not wearing makeup, I like to use a very, very light moisturizer because not only am I dry, I'm extremely sensitive. So if I wear anything thick during the day without applying makeup, it clogs my pores. Don't ask why, it just happens. I break out, my skin doesn't like it. So I started using this on days when I am applying makeup and it works beautifully as a base absolutely beautifully. So this just is going to penetrate once again very deeply, improve radiance, glow, it also helps with firmness of the skin. It's just an all around amazing product. I'm super sensitive, it hasn't irritated me at all. I absolutely love it, morning and night. This and the Thirsty Mud, oh my gosh, obsessed. And especially this time of year, it's the perfect time to get products like this because we're in those cold, chilly, dry months. Okay, I'm done, I love these products. I also mentioned these in my Sephora haul towards the beginning of the month, and it is the Paracone MD Blue Plasma. This is an everyday, basically chemical peel without the chemicals in it. It is amazing. Like, oh my gosh, my skin has never in my life felt so soft. It's like freaky how soft it makes your skin feel. It is amazing, and it truly helps with brightness and radiance noticeably. So I'm just going to put that down because I'm going to start rambling again. The next one is, again, I mentioned this in my haul, the Paracone MD Deep Moisture Therapy. Oh, amazing. Once again, I do not like to use thick moisturizers during the day, and this one definitely looks thick. It, it looks thick, and I'm like digging in the exact same area, like scooping it. Anyways, it does not feel thick. When you rub it on your skin, it feels super thick, and then it just evaporates. It is so amazing. I wear these both with and without makeup on top. I absolutely love them. So for you dry skin to combination skin people out there, this is worth the investment. I'm truly seeing a difference in my skin and I can't say anything but good things about it. Last two products, this right here is brand new. I've only used it twice and this is the Happy Hippie Shower Gel by Lush. Absolutely love this. I was in there talking about how much I love fresh scents and the girl was like, have you tried this? And I was like, no. And she was like, you need it? And I was like, yes. It's it's just like, it just smells like nothing but citrus. It is so amazing. It smells like citrus, oranges, and lemons is what it smells like. It is absolutely amazing. Whenever I shower and I use it, I'm just like, <gasps> it is so refreshing. So I have been loving the happy hippie. Happy hippie. I just want to talk about it because it's such a happy hippie. Last but not least is again by Lush, the Karma Cream Hand and Body Lotion. This takes the cake for lotions in winter 2014. I am so picky about body butters and body lotions and this one is the best. I absolutely love it. It has almond oil and cocoa butter in it and it smells amazing. Again, it's like fresh and not too warm, but not too cool in the scent. It's perfect and you can see I've been I've been getting my use out of it. I absolutely love it. I've been using it every single night after I shower. It's so creamy. It feels more like a butter than a lotion to me, but it absorbs fast so you don't feel greasy, which is obviously important to us. So, yes. Okay. That is it for my January favorites. I really hope that you guys enjoy. I'm still working on the echo in here. I'm still working on the background in here, but my lighting is starting to get better, right? Right? I hope so. Okay, I love you guys so much. I'm about to get this makeup all over my hands. I love you guys so much, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye. Maybelline, Maybelline, Maybelline. Mm. This is a lot of Maybelline line. I can't even speak, dear Lord. Ow, I have something in my eye. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Okay, stop. You're annoying me. Yes, I'm talking to myself. I can talk like this. Hot your dreams. Just slow down, grab the wall, wiggle like you're trying to make your way. My hair is dripping really good. Let's on very, 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 very,